Back to the main quick look screen. Now we'll jump over to the switch, switches section. And again, these are organized by site. At the top will always be your parent or HQ site, which for us is named CLE. And then any subsequent or child sites will fall underneath that. Uh, we can see a couple of bits of information here. Uh, TM, TMS com, that's just the communication between each and every switch. So we've got six total switches at this site and all six are communicating. Uh, usage, we can either see if it's idle um, uh, or off, uh, off hook. So this mean, just means that there's a phone off hook somewhere at this site and then service. So this will tell us if anything is out of service, which in our case there is. So drilling down, here's where we get a little bit more granular and we can see quite a bit of information for each one of the switches within uh, this particular site. So um, keep in mind that each and every Shortel server, whether it be a HQ server or a DVS server uh, or the enterprise call center server, which incidentally is considered a DVS server because it runs the uh, DVS software as part of it, they have something called a soft switch. So. Uh, I'll get more into that in another video, but just keep in mind that you're seeing the servers in the switches section because each server has basically a virtual switch uh, that uh, is included with it. So for any of our switches, we can see if there are IP phones assigned, SIP trunks assigned, SIP proxies, go all the way through here. There's, there's quite a bit of information, uh, the IP address, MAC address uh, of the different appliances. Again, here's our... Uh, our comm, so we've got um, seven, uh, seven of seven uh, communication paths open here. Um, we can see some of our hunt group resources, again, just like on the previous screen, usage, service. And then we have some uh, commands, and this is where you'll come if you need to restart or reboot a particular appliance. Uh, if you do a restart, it's just gonna restart the services on that box, uh, whereas if you do a reboot, it'll shut that down and, and do a, a, clean, a clean reboot. Uh, you can also set those to restart or reboot on idle, so it'll wait until uh, there's no activity on the switch before it will go ahead and, and restart or reboot itself. All right, from there, once we start narrowing down to a particular switch, this is where we're going to get into the diagnostics and monitoring tool. So this is a new tool that appeared, I believe it was with uh, version 14.0. And there is quite a bit of information. There'll be several videos on this, but I will go ahead and click on one of our switches and you'll see that it will automatically pop up a new window and take us to the main diagnostics and monitoring page. It does take a little bit of time to load because there's a lot of information it's pulling in here. A lot of um, agents that are residing on phones and switches and servers within the system and pulling information back to the, uh, the main database. And let me resize this window here so you can see it. All right, and I had clicked on a switch, so it's taking me to that particular switch. Again, I can see some of the information as I saw on the Quick Look page, but now on this bottom half, I can really get in, into what's going on on this switch. So I can see fan, temperature, I can see details on the last boot time or the last connect time, CPU usage, memory usage. I can see all of my hunt group resources that are assigned to the switch, whether they're up and operational uh, or if there are uh, any issues there. And I can also see all of my IP phones. So I can drill down even further. Or if you remember on the main quick look page, it showed something was out of service. And here I can see I have some phones that are out of service. So at one point, the short tail saw a MAC address of a phone that was plugged in and it can no longer communicate. So we can uh, expand this out here a little bit more for you. We can see each and every one of these phones. This is fully searchable. I'm gonna get into uh, diagnostics and monitoring in several other videos, so I don't wanna get into too much detail here, but you can see it gets very detailed and I can even see by phone the uh, each and every phone call that was made, the health of that phone call uh, based on the performance of the data network at that time and all kinds of other information. So. 
the point here is that once you get into the diagnostics and monitoring tool, lots and lots and lots of information uh, for an administrator to look at here. I'm going to close back out of this and just drop us back into the, uh, the main quick look page here.